I know a lot of Christians that have been praying for years now for God to give them something, and many of them have not yet received answers to their prayers. The funny thing is that I know some people who are not so serious with God, but they have these things those people are praying for. Why is this so? This is a big question. But you see one of the major reasons why people pray for things and don't see answers to their prayers is because they think God is a magician. They pray to God to bless them financially and they get back to continue to do things normally. If you pray to God to bless you, God expects you to cooperate with him so that he can bless you. If you are working in a company, God expects you to begin to learn how to do your job better, or to advance your career in your field so that you can be recommended for promotion. If you have a business, God expects you to learn how to grow your business so that you can make more profit. He expects you to learn from successful businesses around you. But why can't God provide money without me having to go through this stress? If God provides money, the money would still finish, but if you have learned how to grow your business, you can make money consistently. That's very true. The reason why many unbelievers are financially successful is because they do not break this principles. But it is we believers that break this principles. We then expect God to do some magic to make us financially successful. God has set these principles, and whosoever break it would face the consequences. Now let's say you pray to God to help your business grow. Do you know how God answers this prayer most times? No. God might lead you to read a book about growing your business, or lead to you to buy a course, or might even send somebody to you who will share his experience with you. So when you pray, always be conscious of the answers to your prayer. The answers most time won't be physical cash. I hope you get. Yes I do. I have a question. Go ahead. If it is all about working hard as you have said, then why do I need to pray to God for his help financially? When you pray to God for a financial provision, God can actually lead someone to give you money. Also God can lead you to relationships that would help you achieve your financial goal faster. God can supernaturally connect you with people that could support your business. God can give you ideas that would make you financially free. God can stir the heart of your boss to take note of your hard work in the company, thereby leading to promotion. But imagine you are very lazy. How can God stir your boss hard to promote you? That's very true. I now know why many Christians don't see answers to their prayer. Now I know it is not God's fault, but because they refuse to play their part.